Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick, and it is Thursday, October the 1st, and I'm here with you today for our daily devotions. We're going to be reading from Matthew again, and we are in chapter 6. We're going to be starting at verse 16, if you'd like to turn there now and join me as we begin our daily devotion. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in heaven, or by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees you in secret will reward you. Do not lay up for yourselves treasure on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is... There will your heart be also. The eye, of the, lamp, the eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. So some very famous words here in Matthew chapter 6, just about life, right? Jesus is talking Uh, about anxiety. He's talking about, he's coming to the end of his discussion on righteousness for others in terms of of trying to do good works to be a pure righteous before others. And then he moves into the section about not being uh, concerned about, you know, your daily bread, if you will, you know, clothing and shoes, food and drink and and all of that. And, uh, you know, it's so easy with life to forget these things. It's so easy to focus on daily bread and on these Um, what are called first article gifts, you know, the first article of the Apostles' Creed, where Luther talks about clothing and shoes and food and drink and and so on. And uh, we spend much of our lives going after such things, aspiring after such things, trying to get better versions of such things, right? Better food, better clothes, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, God calls for us to seek his kingdom first, uh, to put his house first, to put uh, serving his people first, to put... um, evangelizing first and and really living our lives like we know that we will be in heaven for eternity someday and it, it's so difficult because our flesh constantly is hungry uh, not just for food but but for all sorts of material things and uh, we constantly feel like we need to feed that hunger and and God is, is assuring us that he will feed that hunger and that uh, there are more important things Uh, than that in life. Of course, we know Jesus denied himself and took up his cross and went to Calvary and laid down his life for us, giving himself in sacrifice that we would have the forgiveness of our sins and the gift of everlasting life. All right, so let's continue now as we pray together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. All right, well, uh, just a few announcements. Uh, we're continuing to try to raise money for our new playground outside. As you can see that there's a, a space there where we used to have uh, a, a pretty good sized play structure. And so we're hoping to raise some, some funds for both our uh, school kids and our church kids to be able to play on that and offer that to the people who uh, come up here and enjoy um, our ministry. So uh, if the Lord has blessed you uh, in accordance with what we read today in our, in our reading from Matthew 6, and you wish to share some of those blessings, um, uh, the church certainly could, uh, could use that need to be, to be filled. Uh, email newsletter went out yesterday. I'm, I'm looking to start a new pastor's class coming this Tuesday. So if you have an interest in jumping in, uh, it's definitely not too late. Let me know. We're going to be printing the books this weekend. And uh, we look forward to having you. We're going to have a lot of great discussions in there uh, about a lot of very important topics. You know, we're living in a time where uh, the doctrines of uh, many churches are, are sort of being pushed aside for just kind of maybe just focusing on the gospel, and that's basically it. So I uh, hope that you can uh, join us if you'd like. And then uh, we have a new Bible verse of the month. I need to look that up, and I'll, I'll have that for you next time. I may have Elizabeth share that with you tomorrow, and uh, we'll certainly be saying that on Sunday. So the Lord bless this the rest of your Thursday. We pray for God's peace to be upon you as we look forward to another weekend here um, in, uh, in Hazlitt. All right, God bless.